Governor Josh Shapiro understands the importance of ensuring voters' voices are heard, especially after fighting false election fraud claims in 2020 as Attorney General. I was proud to be able to go to court over 40 times and defeat the former president and his enablers each and every time in order to protect the will of the people. Now as governor, um, through our Department of State, we will make sure, again, we have a free and fair, safe and secure election. As a leading Democrat, Shapiro plans to work on the political side of things to get Bob Casey reelected to the U.S. Senate. He's a dear friend and someone that I'm going to do uh, everything in my power to support. I'll go anywhere he needs me to go uh, to support him. And of course, I'm supporting President Biden and we'll see who's on the other side. In light of Shapiro's bipartisan tone and its handling of the I-95 collapse that put him in the national spotlight, some have wondered if Shapiro himself could be a 2028 presidential contender. I'm focused on doing this job and this job only, and it's the only job I want to do, but I'm grateful that the nation is taking a look at what we're doing here in Pennsylvania. But you wouldn't rule it out. I am, I am governor, and God willing, will continue to be governor for a long time. As governor, Shapiro has taken up residence in the governor's mansion, unlike his predecessor. He says he enjoys living in Harrisburg. We got our kind of favorite spots to, you know, grab a bite. And we're really enjoying it. It's, it's a special place to be, and uh, it's an honor that the good people of Pennsylvania have bestowed upon not just me, but uh, my wife, Lori, our first lady, and our four children. Now, if you caught us in four and five, you know that we spoke with Shapiro about a lot of different matters from the budget to private school vouchers. We'll have a lot more going up from our interview on our website, WGAL.com.